Hello guys, welcome to Net Experts. My name is Adanshu Kapoor. Today I'm going to start a new session of PowerShell. In this session, I'm going to start. I'm going to discuss about how to manage DSP using PowerShell. So let's start the session, guys. Okay, so let me open the server. Server first. So this is the server. So now I'll go to start, and I open Windows PowerShell now. Now, first we check the IP address of the server. So I go for get hyphen net IP configuration. This is the command. I hit or enter. This is the command to check the IP address of the server. Okay, so it shows me the IP address. My IP address of the server is IP address is 10.1.1.1, and the DNS server IP address is 10.1.1.1. Okay, now I check whether the the DHCP service is installed or not in the server. So I go for get hyphen Windows feature, then hyphen name. I use name switch name, and then we'll go for star DHCP star and enter. So as you can see, it's collecting the data. It takes some time to collect the data. So just pause the video and continue. Yeah, it's okay, fine. So they're showing you that uh, the DHCP service is available, but it's not installed. Okay, if it, if it is installed, so they're showing me in installed state. Okay, now we're going to install the services now. So how, how we can install the DHCP services? Go for install hyphen Windows feature, and then after go for name, and then go for DHCP. The service name is DHCP. I want to install, and I want to install all the management tools also. So include. Management tools. Now enter it. So as you can see, it's collecting data, and after that, it's going to install the DSCP services. So it's some time to install the things. Install the DSCP services. So I just resume the video. Once it's done, I'll get back again. So it's still install 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 the DSCP services. As you can see, start installation. 24% is done. Okay. So once it's complete, I'll resume the video again. Okay, so as you can see that uh, the DHCP service is installed and su uh, successfully installed. As you can see, they're showing you success. So for check whether the DHCP service is installed or not, so I use the same command get Windows feature, and you can uh, you can see that it's collecting the data again, and you can see that uh, it shows you that is X is there. It means it's installed now. Okay, now now I'm going to uh, now uh, we install the DHCP service in domain network. Okay, in domain uh, in domain environment, so we need to authorize the DHCP server as well. If you install the DHCP server in work group, so you don't want to authorize the DHCP services. But for dom if but we install DHCP services in domain, so we need to authorize the DHCP services as well. So how we can authorize the DHCP services? The command is add. Okay, once I first clear the screen once. Okay, now we'll see add hyphen DHCP server in DC. This is the command. Okay. Now we'll go for. Now we need to define the DNS name as well. We we'll go for DNS. Again hyphen. DNS and then name and then I define the DNS name. So my DNS name is uh, DC hyphen zero one dot xyz dot com. This is the full DNS name of my server. And then I go for IP address. So define the IP address of my DNS. IP address is ten dot one dot one dot one. Okay. So I just hit or enter after that. So it's going to authorize the DHCP services. As you can see that the DHCP services is authorized. So if you want to check. Whether the DHCP service is authorized or not, so the command is get hyphen 
DHCP server in DC and enter it. So it's showing you that okay, the IP address of this and the DNS name is it means it's authorized. Okay. Now, now we now I'm going to uh, create the security groups as well right? because uh, once you um, if you install the DHCP services on GUI mode, so uh, when you're going to authorize the DHCP services on GUI mode, so it's, it's create the DHCP security groups as well. Okay, so we need to, so we are successfully authorized the DHCP server. Now we need to create the security DHCP security groups as well. So I go for add hyphen DHCP server, and then we can go for security, sorry security group, and hit on enter. So it's successfully adding the security group. If you want to check the security group, so you can check with the Active Directory user and computers. So over there, they're showing you DHCP security groups. Okay. Now we can create. We are now we are going to create the DHCP scope. So how we can uh, going to get the DHCP scope? So go for add hyphen DHCP server. Now go for IPv4 scope. So I'm going to create the IPv4 scope. If you want to create the IPv6 scope, you can go for IPv6 scope as well. Okay, so right now I'm going to create the IPv4 scope. Okay, now you go define the name of the scope. Just wait. Go for add hyphen DHCP server IP v4 server v4 scope maybe yeah server v4 now it's not ipv4 it's server v4 scope okay and the go for name go for name and this my my scope name is i go for scope one i define scope one my scope name and then i'll define the start range so i go for start start range and I use uh, 10 dot 1 dot 1 dot 10 okay and I go for end range after that and range and we'll define 1 dot 200 okay fine now if you now you can define the subnet mask also you we'll go for subnet mask and I you can zoom into 255.0.0.0 and then i need to define the now if you want to define the least duration you can define the least duration as well by default it takes eight days so i want to define the least duration as well so least duration least duration i give one day only so how you can go for that or i give two days zero two double colon zero like this okay so this is first for uh, uh first for days and then hours and then minutes like this okay now i want that i need to activate the state also so i go for state and i go for active this scope okay so i want to active the scope this also okay now hit on enter after that so it's going to create the scope okay so how we can check whether the scope is created or not so the command is get hyphen dhcp server v4 scope and enter it so they're showing you see my my scope id is 10.0.0.0 the subnet mask is this name of the scope is this state is active start range this and range this and least duration is two days like this okay now now if you want to set the uh, if you want to configure the dhcp options okay in the scope so how we can configure it i'll showing you like see like if i if i if i need to configure the dhcp options so uh, we have the command is set hyphen dhcp server v4 options value options value okay now we define the scope id my scope id is what i define the scope scope id I'm sorry there's no scope id like this and define the scope id is 10.10 .10, sorry uh, scope id is 0.0.0, .0. okay and now define the dns dns domain and my DNS domain is xyz.com okay and after that the DNS server server is 10.1.1.1 okay now I define the router okay previously I have not defined the router so I have a router also so I define the router IP address and scopes I go for 
imagine 100 i have out out right this is 100 and then hit on enter so you can see that it's it defining the scope as well okay scope options also okay fine like now now if you want to add the exclude range also how we can add the exclude range we go for add hyphen dhcp version 4 exclude exclusion range exclusion l u s a one exclusion range no the command okay it's my no, dhcp server version 4 then exclude exclusion range okay now we need to define the the first i need to define the scope id so my scope id is 10.0.0.0 and now i define the start range and the end range of exclusion so i want start range start range i want to start the exclude range is 10.1.1.11 uh, not 11 20 okay we'll go for 20 and the end range is 10.1.1.30 so i want that i want to uh, exclude these ip addresses okay my actual range is uh, my start range is 10 to 200 include in, in, in between this 10 to 200 i exclude this range okay and i'll enter it after that enter it so it's successfully exclude this range okay fine now i'll showing you everything on the on the dhcp server also so i go i just go for open once my dh cp mgmt dot msc and we'll check whether the exclude range is configured or not and the options are configured or not so as you can see that i open my dscp console over there and if i down as you can see that uh, we have a scope also the scope is also configured successfully okay and we'll go for the scope options over there it's, it's configured at outer address also okay and if i go for the uh, the exclude range i go to pool over there they're showing me 20 to 30 is is excluded now so everything is configured okay now i'm going to my client now this is my client machine i open with my domain administrator okay now will uh, now i open the lan card settings so go for ncpa.cpl okay so now i just enable my lan card by default it's disabled as you can see i go to properties i already set the ipv4 automatically go to properties and it's automatic set out auto obtain ip address automatically okay so let's enable this and let be checked whether the whether it gets the ip address or not so as you can see that it get the ip address yes if i right click on that and go to status then click on details so what you can see that the other ip address is 10.1.10 10, 10, 10, 10, 10 it's get okay and the mask is this and the lease obtain is this and the lease expires this is only for one day uh, only for two days 24 and 25th okay and the default gateway is this dns this dacp server is this and it, it, it gets successfully all the address okay now if you want to check the 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 leases which leases provided by the dacp server okay how much how much ip address is provided by dhcp server you go for get hyphen dhcp server v4 and after that you go for lease okay and after that you need to define the scope id scope id is the scope id is 10.0.0 okay and hit on enter they're showing you that it send it it gives the lease 10.1.1.10 to the to this client okay and the client name is c-01.xy.com and it's active okay and the expire expire date is 25th date okay so it gives you for two days 24 and 25th like this like this like this is the way how how to configure dacp service dcp server with uh, using powershell in server 2019 so that's it for this uh, uh, session or this video guys uh, please subscribe the channel for more technical videos Thank you for watching.